Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, all cozied up in the warm, makes me look like a Cookie Monster uh, sweatshirt. Very oversized, very snuggly, because it's cold outside. Or at least it's cold for us here in Georgia. It's like 40 outside and it's middle of the day already, so kind of chilly. But I'll take it because it means I get to wear like cool, warm, cool, warm, warm stuff warm stuff that I make sometimes. Okay, this is crochet life and stuff. I'm gonna start off with the life and stuff. It has been a week, y'all. Yeah. Um, good things and bad things, you know, as what does happen. First off, I know that I was getting my um, Secret Santa present. Uh, doing the Secret Santa through Lisa Ladybird Loves this year and she said, she had the tracking on it because people are communicating with her when they send the stuff. She said it should be there. Since mom was coming internationally, they were, you know, watching to make sure because you never know how the mail is going to be. It's like, great. I knew the mail was here. So I decided to walk to the mailbox. Now, you have to <laughs> picture it. Sicily, 1912. No, wrong picture. Um, <laughs> I am very rural and my driveway is very long and it goes downhill some to get out to the road and at the road is where my post uh my mailbox is ours and uh my in-laws who are my neighbors uh because they don't come up the driveway unless it's a delivery truck for some reason the package was apparently small and fit we have an oversized mailbox because you know we're rural hello well i decided that on my 15 minute break because i do work from home i was going to zoom down there and get it and walk back. I've done that a bunch of times before. It is not unusual or not terribly unusual for me to walk to the mailbox just sometimes just to like be out of the house for 10 minutes. Yeah. Walk down there. Got it. I'm walking back. And then I start walking the little bit of an uphill. Little bit of an uphill. It is not like uphill by any means. Okay. I got a, a little weak. I get to the landing, which is concrete, and I just kind of went down. Well, I managed to land the package on the step, so it was fine. Managed to get my phone in the grass, so it was fine. However, my knees, not so much. My right knee, I skinned. You know, how did we put up with skin knees so much when we were kids? I fell as a kid. I mean, I skateboard accidents and all kinds of stuff. So I was familiar with that. But boy, this sucker hurt. And it hurt for a while. And it's still a big boo-boo. Not only that, though. If that was the only thing, that wouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> no, Oscar. I tend to have problems with that knee anyway. Because, you know, I'm old and falling apart. And, you know, <laughs> I played volleyball as a teenager and all kinds of stuff. Well, this time, though, my left knee, which usually doesn't give me any problems, that hurts now. And it's still a little swollen. You know, I'll live. I'm just griping about it, okay? But that wasn't the only thing. No, no. Sometimes on my 15-minute break, I'll prep a salad for lunch, which that's all fine and good, right? I've got the mandolin. I got it out. I do the thing. <clears throat> well, when you're trying to slice a cucumber on a mandolin, you can't hook it to the safety guard right away. You've got to brrr and get it smaller so that you can put the safety thing on it and do it. And yes, I've got one of the gloves and no, I don't ever put it on. Let's see if you can see that. Well, <laughs> notice that the top is kind of gone <laughs> off of that middle finger. Yeah. Managed to whack off the end of my finger. <sighs> and those, they always bleed a lot right away. You know, you got to have to double bandage it and everything else. You know, and I type all day. So I'm having to like not, because it's still a little tender. It's okay. It's healing. It'll grow back like it never even happened because it's just, you know, a layer of skin. But really? Really? Come on now. Life, that's enough. No more ouchies and boo-boos. I'm too old for that. But crochet. Crochet brings it all back. It's all good. I've been crocheting some every single day because that's fun. And uh, y'all notice my hat? I did make another divine hat. 
And uh, I am totally in love with this Divine Hats because it's out of yarn that I treated myself with. This bag, by the way, from Classy Handmade, Miss Shondell. Cute, cute bag. Um, this is Red Heart Unforgettable. I treated myself to this several weeks ago, maybe a month ago. This is in the color Dragonfly. Uh, the deets on this, it's a four weight. Oh, where'd it go? 100 grams, 246 meters. It says to use a six millimeter hook, which I think I did, or maybe I went a little smaller for the pattern. Um, again, the color is Dragonfly. Machine wash and dry, it says, and it's 100% acrylic. It's got some halo though, and it is roving, which is really nice. The only thing that's not nice about it is if you have to frog because this yarn does not like frogging. So don't be me, don't mess up. But I had two balls of this and now I have a full ball still in here and this part left. I'm probably going to make myself some fingerless gloves because you know, obviously I don't need all my fingers, what? Um, but yeah, I really love the colors of this yarn. It makes me very happy. So yeah. That's a thing. That is a finished object. A finished object, y'all. Not enough to do a faux down like Miss Neva, but you know, it is a finished object. Also, I've been working on the Pick and Mix Cal. Uh, this week we were doing the Suzette stitch and I managed to get it completed last night. It was in that color of three again. So that dark brown, which I think is coffee. Um, it is a Red Heart Super Saver color on mine. And my blanket is not going to be very wide. This is mostly going to drape over my recliner, um, over the back, because it's all these warm colors. So that'll be fun. My recliner is big and brown, big, ugly, and brown. So I'm gonna have a nice colorful brown blanket to go on it. Uh, what else have I been working on? Something in this bag. This is a no catchy name, Ella bag. Um, inside it, I've also got the little notions pouch with it. This that I'm working on, oh, let's see if I can do this and not drop stuff, okay? I won this on Instagram. It is a kit to make this bag. And it's all cotton, uh, mercerized cotton, that is actually pretty nice to work with. Super easy to work with, actually, because it's chain spun. There ain't no splitting here, okay? I have got two of these square, no, I've got one and a partial square done. One complete one, which I think I finished and may have shown you last week. I'm not sure, but I did finish it in the car. So I don't think I showed you last week. And one partial one. Ta-da! Uh, those are in the color, let me find, I couldn't find a center pull. That's my only argument about this. No center pull that I could find. Give me center pulls. Uh, this is in Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton. It's a 100 gram ball, 170 meters. It's a four weight and it says to use, I cannot read what it says to use, what kind of hook. I was using whatever the pattern said to use because I ain't seeing that. And this is the color Terracotta. And the kit actually came with one, two, three, four of those. I think that's kind of overkill because this, I'm still working on the first ball. So I'll probably end up with extra. They've also sent a ball of this pink rose color and a ball of this, I think it's called goldenrod, goldenrod. Those are mostly, I believe, for tassels and joining and stuff. Well, they also sent a pre-made tassel already. So I might have some extra yarn out of that. But so far, it's just granny squares. And that's what I've just been kind of working on on the side when I don't have anything else pending and when I'm not jonesing for another divine hat because I had to make one. Other stuff did come as well this week. If you saw a video earlier this week, you saw... Uh, Really cool merch shirt from Lisa Ladybird Loves. Yes. Um, and the back, which I love, says it's not that kind of channel. But yeah, I also ordered, because she's getting these printed through Teesprings uh, in the U.S. And with Teesprings, they, they just, they ship it as they print it. So she's like, I thought you ordered two things. I did. It'll come. I've, I've dealt with Teesprings before. 
look, I've got a Bits and Bobs bag, and I decided to get it in the royal blue, and you can choose your colors on any of these things with them. A uh, nice zipper bag. Really good zipper on it. But yeah, Bits and Bobs with the Ladybird logo. And I'm going to have her linked either up here or down in the description or something. She's got some cool merch, and she's got a fun channel. So make sure you check her out, too. I'm just saying. Also, I ordered books. Uh-oh. Give me that. Okay. Abe Books is a used bookstore that I go through a lot for books. Um, not affiliated, of course. Oh, for Pete's sake. Ugh. Dropped it. And I don't have my scissors in here, so we're using a box opener because that's clever. What in the what? Oh! Well, I wasn't expecting this yet. All right. This may not be one of the books. <laughs> No, it is not because I won a uh, a giveaway during Ingrid Inspiration's birth anniversary party, birthday uh, pot anniversary party uh, that had to be rushed because of load shedding. But I won something from Bailey. Bailey, oh my goodness! I will have her linked. A lot of fun too. But I won a twenty dollar. A uh, Canadian dollar or was it 25 a gift card for Amazon well I had to order it through Canadian Amazon to make use of it it wouldn't let me transfer the funds or whatever whatever I decided to order this two simple shapes 26 crocheted cardigans tops and sweaters and I know that the purple yarnivore is actually doing a crochet along with this Basically, once a month, I think, they're they're picking one of the patterns and working on it. And I thought that might be fun. I think I missed out this month because I'm a little late to the party. But for next time, we'll see. And there's all kinds of cool things in here. I mean, look at that. That's a really cool tank top. And it's made, everything is basically made with just two shapes. And then they show you how to put it together. That sounds easy enough for me. And most of the stitch patterns and stuff looks like something I can either figure out or get somebody to show me. So yes, I decided that would be fun. Thank you, Miss Bailey. I do appreciate you uh, giving that prize. And uh, I was able to get a book that I've been looking for. Always have a, my Amazon wish list down below too. So that's a thing. There is one more thing here, and I'm guessing that's why I got that weird email. I think that one of my A book orders got canceled. They were out of stock or something. Let's do this over here so we don't drop it. And I've even gotten crochet kits from A books, so you never know what you're going to get. Yes. Hip to Crochet, 23 Contemporary Projects for Today's Crocheters. And I'm not actually going to go completely through it now. Boy, it shows a lot of interesting stuff about how to put stuff together. Okay, we will go through this in my new series coming up. Uh, it's called Book Look. And because I, I have some crochet books and I'm getting more crochet books. And we're going to go through it and kind of look at the crochet book and see if it's something you might want to have. Sounds like fun. Yeah. You might see some stuff you've never seen. You might see some vintage stuff too. There were some really cool vintage crochet books. Oh my God. Um, that, yeah, that I may end up acquiring them. What they show on the front here, I don't think I want to work on. Oh my God. Look how thin that thread is and how much halo it is. Yeah, for a frogging person like me, mm -mm. that's probably not happening. But as it is with a used book, sometimes you'll get somebody's name written in it. But I think it was like $3, where the retail price on it was $20, $27.95 in Canada. Used book places. Check them out if you want to get crochet books. But we will be looking at those sometime in the next several weeks, I am sure. What else is going on? The Birthday Angels giveaway with Daigo Crochet. Daigo Crochet's birthday is coming up in December, and she wants all of us to celebrate by participating in a giveaway. And some of us participated by giving and entering, because if you're like, 
you're being a birthday angel, you can still enter the other angels giveaways, which I'm like, yes. So I'm going to try to remember to link it up here. And if not, it'll be down in the description below. There's still time to participate. Definitely time to go through and enter on everybody's videos that are put out for it. Oh my goodness. There's just so much going on. Um, if I think of anything else, it'll be down below. Also postcard swap, how to get in on that in the description box. Basically it's not hard. You're going to send me an email if you want to swap postcards and, um, I will swap postcards with you. I've already gotten some awesome postcards and I always put those in my happy mail. Had one earlier this week. I hope you caught that. Flippin' awesome. Okay. Never had one like that before. So, uh, I do appreciate you coming by. I'm going to have lots of links down below, lots of links up above if I remember to get that done because I'm on a break from work right now. I got to go back to work in any other room. I mean, I work from home, but it's a time to break thing. I would show you Oscar, but he is firmly ensconced on the bed where I can't reach him. So I'll put him in the community tab. Always check the community tab. I do try to share if I see people doing giveaways or interesting content or also pictures of the Oscar helping me crochet because he does so often. I will definitely see you soon. I'd be grateful if you would hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already on your way out. Love having you here and I will see you very soon. Bye y'all.